everyone and welcome back to Joey's Retro Handhelds. I'm Joey and today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to install and set up JoyPlay on Android for your favorite Android handhelds. I'm using the Ambernic RG405 here, but this process should be the same for any device, minus the controls which we'll talk about later. I'll also load up a few of the popular Pokemon fan games like Uranium, Rejuvenation, Reborn, and Insurgents, and the best settings for them. Let's dive right in. First thing we need to do is download JoyPlay, and no, not the Play Store version, it's super out of date and won't work. Hop on over to the link in my description, which is the JoyPlay Patreon page, and you can download JoyPlay and the RPG Maker plugin 1.20.023 for free. After downloading both APKs, go ahead and install JoyPlay first, and then clicking Done instead of Open. Then install RPG Maker plugin afterwards and click Done, not Open. Perfect, now that we have the app, we're ready to go. Open JoyPlay and click the next arrow a few times, accept the terms and conditions, accept the privacy policy, and then grant all the permissions it needs. There's a lot. Okay, let's get some games. Not mandatory, skip any games you don't want. I'll save you the time, Xenoverse does not work, so don't waste your time trying that one. For Pokemon Insurgents, head to the link in the description, click download from the menu, then you want the option that says full download, not installer. For Pokemon Uranium, head to the link in the description, and you want to download the zip file, not the installer. For Pokemon Reborn, head to the link in the description and you want to download the Windows 7 version. Lastly, for Pokemon Rejuvenation, head to the link in the description again and you want to download the first Windows link. Now, Open whatever file manager app you use, I use Solid File Explorer, and go to where you downloaded the files and extract each zip separately and you should have four folders. I made a JoyPlay folder in my ROMs folder and moved each folder there, but it's up to you. It's slightly annoying to move it afterwards, so I suggest you move them now to where you want them to live. Okay, open JoyPlay again and click the three dots on the top right, then Settings. Head to the Gamepad section and copy what you see on screen, for both columns if you're using the RG405M. Triple check yours against mine. Now, what if you're not using the same handheld as me? Well, you'll have to do some sleuthing. You can use my settings as a base, jump into any game, and the way that I did it was try pushing the buttons on your handheld and seeing which on-screen button it corresponds to. You'll see it move. C is select, escape is back or bag, and Z is auto run mostly. Those are the main important ones, 
then just play around with the others when you know what they do. Next is personal preference, but I found enabling vSync under two sections helps a lot for smoothing out these games. So enable it under RenPy settings, and then scroll down to the RPG section and enable vSync there as well. Lastly, scroll down to the P Essentials section and enable Input Overrides. Click Save, bottom right, don't forget. Back out to the home screen and click the plus sign at the top and select Add Game. Click Choose, pick a game to start with. I'll do Pokemon Uranium. So go to where you put that folder and you want to select uranium.exe. When you repeat the step for the other games, you'd select game.exe. Game name can be whatever you want, be creative, can skip version, can skip the thumbnail, and they're loaded. Repeat these steps for each game. Now, when you open a game, you might get a pop-up saying game contains an RGSS archive. Click yes to extract. You also might get a pop-up saying game type requires a runtime package. Select the download option and a web page will open. Select the RPG Maker XP option and click download runtime package. Pop back to Joyplay and now click choose and then we select the file we just downloaded. It'll extract and then click OK. Open the game and you'll likely have to give it permissions again. Just reopen the game if it doesn't load automatically after giving permissions. Otherwise, we're basically done here. I forgot to hide the on-screen controls for the next part, so don't hate me. For each game, the Y button is Auto Run, B button is Cancel or Bag, and A button is Select. Of course, if you have the RG405M, this applies. Except for Pokemon Insurgents, R1 is Toggle Auto Run, Reborn, R1 is Use Item, X is Auto Save, Rejuvenation, X is Auto Save, And for Uranium, I'd suggest enabling performance mode in the game itself. Helps a bit. I haven't seen the same option in the others. You're good to go now. I've played small bits of each game so far, and they run well. But take it with a grain of salt. It could run badly after, I have no idea. And that's it for this one. Hope you liked the video, and hope you all have a good one.